Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is, there are many different types of changes. For example, some changes might cause a change in shape. For example, when you tear a paper into four pieces, so what happens? The shape changes because the shape of each piece is very much different from the original piece of paper. So there is a change in shape. Sometimes there is a change in form. For example, the chocolate, until it got melted, before that it was like solid. But now when it is molten, it is like semi-liquid. So sometimes there is a change in form. Sometimes there is a change in size. You also see uh, a change in form here also. For example, when you put water inside the refrigerator. I mean inside the deep fridge, deep freezer, what happens? After some time, ice cubes are formed. So it, it, it formed from the same water. So water was something which was solid. Now ice cubes are something which are, water was something which was liquid and now ice cubes are something which are solid. So a change has taken place. But here the change has taken in the form. So earlier it was liquid, now it is solid. Similarly, if you boil water, what will happen? Water vapor will be formed. So here again liquid is getting changed to vapor but here also there is a change that is involved so this is example of change of state so here the state is changing so change of state so that means solid to liquid liquid to gas those kind of changes are involved when you talk about the steering the paper so here change in shape and size are involved now when you take an example like this where you have uh, you take a beaker and inside the beaker you put some copper sulfate solution so let's say we have copper sulfate solution in the beaker and inside this beaker if you put a, a bar of magnesium so this white thing which you see here is magnesium what happens after some time we see that the blue color of the copper sulfate changes to white color so now the color has changed to white why the color changed that's because when we have put this magnesium into the copper sulfate solution so there is a chemical reaction that is taking place so basically the magnesium bar reacts with the copper sulfate solution and it forms magnesium sulfate and copper as a result what happens is the color of the solution earlier was blue now the color of the solution becomes colorless because magnesium sulfate is colorless Initially the color of the bar was white that is colorless but now it changes to copper color which is blue. So now you see the color of the bar has changed to blue and the color of the solution has changed to colorless. Now please do not bother yourself with these chemical equations because I am just trying to tell you that how changes happen. So in a lot of changes chemical reactions take place inside because of which some new substances are formed and due to which we observe a difference in the appearance or shape or size or state and that's how we say that a change has taken place. So whenever there is a change that means a change has occurred either in sh say shape or size or color or texture or state. So one of these parameters must have undergone a change. Now when we talk about types of changes, so at this level we are going to talk about two categories of changes. Certain changes which are reversible, that is you can reverse them. So you start with some original substance or maybe some initial substance. You start with an initial substance and after some time it undergoes a change. So you get something new or something different. So that is the changed product but it is also possible to get back the original substance from the changed substance. Let's say uh, you, you got a haircut. So what was the initial state when you had long hair? Now after you took a haircut you have short hair. So sh short hair is the final state and long hair is the initial state. So when I am saying that a change is reversible that means that the short hair again can be reversed back to long hair. That is the short hair can even give rise to long hair. So that would be an example of reversible change. Now when you talk about irreversible change that means in this type of change the in, from the initial state you will go to the final state only then you say that a change has taken place but it is not possible to come back to the initial state again that is let's say you have something like this let's say uh, you have a piece of paper and you burn it 
Now, when you burn that piece of paper, what is the re result? So, your initial thing was the paper, right? So, paper was your initial substance. Now, after you burn it, what do you get? After it is burned completely, you get ashes. Now, can you get back the paper from the ashes? You can't. So that means that is an example of irreversible change. But let me give you an example of reversible change. Let's say you have the same piece of paper and in this case what you do is you fold that piece of paper to make a paper plane or a paper boat. So you just mold the paper, make curves and that's how you create a paper boat. Now, can you get back the paper from the paper boat? Yes, if you just unfold it, you will again get back the same sheet of paper. So this would be an example of reversible change. So getting a paper boat from paper is reversible change, but burning the paper into ashes is an irreversible change. So that is the main difference between reversible and irreversible change. So now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to take a lot and lot of examples from around us and we are going to analyze whether that change is a reversible change or an irreversible change. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.